Hello everyone, this is Miss Pittman here. Today we are going to be making lizards, analogous lizards. So what you'll need to choose is analogous colors. For example, on my lizard, I chose yellow, green, and blue because they are neighbors to each other on the color wheel. So you'll need to choose analogous colors. This should be a review. But for example, for the new lizard, I'm going to do cool colors. First step you're going to do is take the body of your color and fold it hot dog style. After that, you are going to cut a diagonal from corner to corner. So you end up with a triangle. You then will have a seam down the middle. You're going to take the edge of your triangle and fold it in towards that seam. All right, you're gonna do that on both sides. You're gonna take the edge of the triangle and fold it in towards the seam. Now we have the body of our lizard. We are going to decorate it. As you can see on my lizard to the left, I did circles. On this one, I think I'll do some polka dots, but you can do any pattern that you want. You can do stripes, zigzags, circles, anything you want. Now that I have my pattern done, we're going to flip our paper over and fold it in half on that seam. And we're gonna take some scissors and we're going to cut lines. Lines straight across. You could also do zigzags or wavy lines if you want to cut wavy lines, but that is up to you. For this one, I'm doing lines. You are cutting from the seam up until the crease. You need to cut that entire line because if you don't, it will not make your lizard bend like it's supposed to. So you're gonna cut all the way down from the head to the tail on your lizard with those lines. And this is what it will look like when you open it up. Now we're going to take the triangle on the left and add some glue to it. Now that's not the part that we just cut, just the triangle. And we're going to attach that triangle to the other triangle that we have that was not cut. Now this might be a little hard. It's okay if you squish your lizard a little bit because you can unsquish him. You can pull it out afterwards, but you just need to get that glued accordingly. You want it to attach very well. And this is what it will look like. You have these little tiny triangles at the top. Just cut those off. And the first little cuff that you have, you want to cut it off as well. Now what we are going to make is the head. You're going to start by grabbing the top corner of your paper and bringing it down until it meets the other side of your paper. And you're going to make it a little triangle. You're going to cut off the excess paper on the bottom. And that is the paper we're going to use. You're going to fold it in half and you're going to cut it in half. Now you're going to do the same thing you did to the other paper with your little half pieces of paper. But this time you're going to keep the triangle part, not the rectangle part. You're going to do that for both sheets of paper that you have. Now it is creased in one way, so we're going to fold it the other way so we have a crisscross of folds. Now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut one of the little folds to the center. Only one, and don't go all the way through. We're just going to the center fold. And then you're going to take it and you're going to overlap it. So I'm adding glue to one of the triangles and I'm taking the triangle from the other side and overlapping it. Make sure that you glue it really good. And then the last step is you're going to add a little bit of glue and glue both sides of the heads together. Now what we are going to do is make our feet. I chose to make these little three fingered lizard feet, but you can make your feet look however you want to. Once you have them made, you're just going to cut them out. And now you have all four legs made. Then you can go in and add some more patterns. For example, on this one, I use zigzags. Just remember while you're making your patterns and extra details that you're going to be using analogous colors. The next step we are going to do is make our eyes. I find that it's best to use a lighter color for your eye paper. So then your eye color will show up. So I made my football shaped eyes and then I filled them in with little tiny lines of green since that is my analogous color. Now I have my two eyes made. I'm going to make a tongue. So I just did a wiggly line with like a triangle at the top and then I'm gonna cut that out. And now I have a tongue. I'm going to fold a little bit of the top, just folding it back 
holding it back. And that is how I'm going to attach it to my face later. So now what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of glue and glue my legs onto my lizard. Making sure everything is well attached. And I'm going to let those dry. Now I'm going to glue my tongue to my face. As you can see, I just took that flap that we made and I glued it to the back of the face. And now I'm going to glue my eyes on. My tongue came a little untouched. I did not make sure to keep it glued down as good as I should. So I'm going to make sure I add some more glue and make sure it holds. And then I'm going to add my last eye. And now my face is done. So to attach the face to the body, we're going to have to take that flab of paper we have at the top and fold it back like this. I folded it back. That is how we did the tongue as well. I'm going to glue that flap and attach my head to it. Now, this might take you holding it for a little bit because you don't want it to fall off. And this is the final product. This is what your lizard will look like. It will have a body, a head, a tongue, some eyes. I hope you have fun with this project and we love to see what you create.